So we actually checked the car yesterday, all was good. We had a lot of fun at night too, but today, the next day of their Yetano is Dario visit, right now we are all getting ready for a nice barbecue out. It's supposed to be rainy and stormy day today, but as you guys can see out there here, it's kind of uh, cloudy and really good time to do some fun stuff and pack activity. And as you guys can see here, we all set up. Yeah, there you go. Here's Dustin forgot to buy seasonings. Oh, seasonings. Are they bringing it right now? No, nope, they don't even know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> so Keitano and uh, Spencer are out to br bring some stuff from the supermarket, some seasonings and some things that are missing. But here, as you guys can see, me and Daryl, we're all setting up and Daryl's in charge of uh, getting all the barbecue set up and as you guys can see we got all this uh i mean you know some 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 veggies and, and and you know meat stuff over there ready and we have some some other in the fridge over there but daryl how is it coming up all so far pretty good uh i'm always cooking uh, everywhere i go i don't know why because <laughs> <laughs> you're the best at it maybe yeah <laughs> Probably. yeah <laughs> yeah it's been it's been a lot of fun so far yesterday we had a lot of fun too right daryl Oh yeah, it's been a lot of fun. So we will be moving some cars out there right now. And uh, again, guys, as you guys can see, it's supposed to be really rainy and stormy day today, but we are very lucky to have a uh, really nice uh, weather today. For the clouds are actually basically making the weather really nice and fun to sit out out here. So uh, this is at the backside of a shop. As you guys can see, it's a JDM Global Export Arm of Garage Defend, basically. And here we have also, I mean, things messed up here, but yeah. Boys will be coming back pretty soon and we'll be talking about cars, cars and Japanese sports cars, right Daryl? Yeah, JDM. JDM, sports cars. These are coming along, as you guys can see out there. This one is beef or what? This is the lamb, I believe. Lamb, is it? Or that one. How about this one? Oh, this is the lamb. Lamb, how about this one? Well, I forgot. <laughs> it looks good though, I tell you what, it looks really good. <laughs> And as you guys can see, the rice fields over there, you can't get better J Japanese than this, boys. You know, backside of a shop. Of course, the, the old shop is located right next to the city. But again, right next to the city, we have a place like this. It looks like kind of, you know, like a, not city city, but again, this is the city. So anyways, this car is supposed to be picked up today and it's going to Nathan. Nathan is the same, uh, he's stationed in the same base with you guys, right, Daryl? Yep. Iwakuni military base, right? And this this car is gonna be picked up for him today, and it will be delivered on July 6. Have you met Nathan before? I have not. I've never met this dude. I think he's new. Yeah, you'll be meeting pretty soon. So, guys, by the way, uh, Iwakuni. I mean, the first car was, of course, um, da uh, the the not Daryl, of course. <laughs> Kiatano got the first GTR 34 from us, and he was the first customer from Iwakuni military base from our shop. Of course, after that, we had a lot of other people basically coming in and, and of course, Jason. Hey, Jason, what's going on? I'm talking about you again in this video. Anyways, Jason, uh, Sergeant Major, there uh, in charge of all the, uh, the actually, all of our friends here. Um, he came out to our shop and purchased this beautiful Deep Martin Blue GTR 33, as you guys have, most of you have seen the video. And uh, yeah, we have, quite quite number of people actually seven eight people from the exactly the same military base for actually become a member of our defense family here purchasing a number of japanese sports cars supras r32 33 34 gtrs and uh yeah i think one evolution four as well i think but yeah it's been it's been going good so far so getting ready as you guys can see right over there in the corner and we'll be organizing even this event by the way everybody probably once at the end of every month so if you are watching this video if you're somebody in japan stationed in japan or or somewhere abroad and planning to come over to japan you're more than welcome to join us right and dario right here he will be next time what i will not be cooking next time you won't be cooking <laughs> he'll he'll be he'll be cooking again and and by the way guys this one is what you guys can see it's right here right now Super RZ, twin turbo, very beautiful. And he'll be what? Driving back all the way from Iwakuni or what, Daryl? That's my baby. It's his baby, all right. One of its kind, for sure. But we'll be making a special video about that as well. And uh, yeah, and he'll be talking about his experience too. I guess positive or what? What's that? <laughs> positive experience so far or what? <laughs> yeah, always, I love coming to the shop. 
<laughs> awesome welcome sir welcome back anytime so yeah everyone stay tuned and you will continue having a good time guys we didn't have a seasoning oh, taste no, like meat awesome. tastes like meat i mean like you know don't worry that's your guys's meat that's the asian people meat <laughs> we, need, we need brown people need flavor <laughs> come on so what did you guys brought uh salt salt that's Pepper. it and some like yakiniku yakiniku kinda, salt like, yeah. yeah i mean like any drinks yeah non-alcoholic drinks <laughs> somebody told okay. me to bring non-alcoholic drinks so I brought non -alcoholic you got it drinks. you got it hey <laughs> <laughs> shall we set up this place a little bit you know or set up set up this is set up okay the good. wheels are gonna like make it. it nice better all right. The new wheels. You got the wheels? We got the wheels. Oh, yeah, we you gotta record that for everybody yeah. else. <laughs> Boys are back. And meat is cooking up, right? So what is missing, I just realized, Daryl. You know what? What? Well, what do we forget this time? Is the good old... the nah, music. Oh, uh, yeah. Should we do the Japanese next, next one or... Next time we'll bring the speaker. Yeah? Ah, I mean, we should bring the speaker. We had a speakers in the front of the shop as well, though. But here comes the Spencer. Hello. Yeah. And here are the what? Here are the wheels. I mean, dude, you didn't have a plan of buying wheels. Why huh? did you? I don't know, because they were cheap. I mean, this looks really good wheels, though. I mean, Brand new. I mean, they're gonna look dude. really good right over here in the shop, and everybody walks in and sees them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna let you borrow them for like three months. You don't want to tell the price, right? Or... No, because then anyone's gonna know my secret of how do I get to <laughs> race. Meals. Yeah, looks good. <laughs> so, here they are. Damn, man, we could we could we could hide that place. I mean, guys, yeah, again, this we would try to hide this place because it looks like in a dirty. So, the wheels do a pretty good job That's of it, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, awesome. awesome. Like that? They are probably so bad. They're kind of touching like this. We need some cardboard. They're touching it. I'm video recording everything for everybody else. I think that's enough food, but we get to keep doing more. Yeah, we got a lot of, lot of, lot of chicken still, though. Yeah. Yeah. Some Japanese sauce. What, what's that? Salt and pepper. You can't. You guys can't read Japanese. How did you know that this is the right one? Because we see a steak and there's steak. <laughs> And then there's steak, and then there's steak, so we just mix and match and <laughs> common sense. Okay. We read by pictures. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Did we get the crayon? <laughs> uh. Yeah, guys, again, I mean, any one of you out, what's this? Is that for me? Because, guys, because I'm driving as well, of course, there's non alcoholic beer. I know, it, yeah, but some of you guys will be like raising your eyebrow for that, but it is what it is. Anyways, boys, I want to stress this because we made a post as well on Facebook saying that, hey, we're going to have a little event, but it's going to super tiny event as you guys can see here. But anyways, at the end of the day, what happened according to the weather forecast two days ago is that it's supposed to be like super rainy and stormy in, in, in Nagoya. And as you guys can see, we have pretty much like cloud cloudy weather today anyway so we canceled the barbecue event we, we canceled the open house meeting like you know um open house event as well so we, we wrote everybody else saying that we're not gonna have anything uh of the party or anything like that but again the Kietano and uh, daryl we actually you know we're planning to come here and you see it's a lucky day today oh because of this <laughs> And uh, yeah, we end up making a small event for them as well. So, you know, it's gonna be fun. But you guys should definitely join us next time. And and if if any one of you were planning and um, and you basically canceled the coming here because of our posts, I apologize for that. But you know, it's a lucky day for us that it's it turned out to be like not that stormy and rainy day. But yeah, you guys should definitely come over next time and be part of the of the of the club i mean we are gonna have a lot more cars here at the front shop over there and we will have a lot more people it's gonna be a lot more fun and at the end of the event we are gonna have a basically you know with the flags driving the cars we will have some car meetups as well we'll be driving on highways with a lot of us basically having a great time and i think you guys should definitely join us next time uh we are organizing it and pretty much hopefully it's going to be once at the end of the month uh every time even we will eventually will be organizing that so you will have a lot of chance of joining us and having us uh, having a great time here at the shop with everybody else here so basically yeah the event the, 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 how long did you guys went to the shop 
Well, what do we do? This morning we went to Up Garage and we went to Super Auto Box right down the road from the shop. Yeah. And they had some kind of crazy event at Super Auto Box. I'm sure a lot of people want to know that event right now. What's ninjas. This? They had ninjas there. Ninjas. Ninja girls. We threw ninja stars and we won a prize. Damn, what prize did you win? What's Kiatana doing out there? What's this? He's getting choked. He's getting choked out. By that girl? Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's the surprise. price? Pen. Pen? Damn. <laughs> it's like a ninja pen. No, it's a ninja pen. Or <laughs> not even a ninja pen. <laughs> yeah. So if you guys are coming out to, to Japan, check out Autobox and might end up... Hey, know, we might end up meeting some ninja girls. Yeah, ninja girls and get some ninja pens and stuff, whatever it is, you know. You've been like, you know, pouring that salt on it, know. you know? Can I give everybody cholesterol over here? <laughs> <laughs> you might end up eating it all yourself. For, for, for a little bit. For a little bit. <laughs> it was very hot. And I hit the head. You know this is his job in the way, bro. Yeah. He's a cook. Really? His job yeah. is a, he's a cook. I always cook every go. time. There you go. And you're really good at it. Now I get shit, Wait, man. Is that true story? Yeah, another thing actually you guys were we were missing it was a table to put stuff in and you see <laughs> yeah, we, were, we got really creative at the end to so basically those, uh, fiber as a table. We are using it What the fuck? <laughs> oh wait that is what we're using. <laughs> <laughs> hey uh, I look Jeffrey if you're watching this video buddy <laughs> We are uh, we are using your carbon cooling panels box as a table here, and we messed it up. I I probably end up replacing the box, I guess. But your cooling panels inside of this box, so yeah. But and for those one of you guys who do not know the Jeffrey, Jeffrey is another U.S. military personnel stationed in Okinawa, just like Spencer used to, right? And he purchased GTR 33 from us, and we are having a cooling panel delivered to him. And cooling panel, of course, is the one of the carbon parts that we manufactured our shop just like this and as you guys can see here we have cooling panels for gtr 32 33 and 34 and as you guys can see of course uh, their size and everything differs according to the shape of a car but basically we are having one of those delivered to jeffrey and this one is ryan's actually this one is gtr 32 inside you guys can see it's all wrapped up and powered up but i have to have it send it out <laughs> See that guys it's about to start raining now finally <laughs> hey you're gonna be screwed now if it does you know no, that's okay. Oh, really? at least we, we had something right mm -hmm. by the way everybody this is nathan's car nathan um your car is going to be delivered to you in less than july 7 6 actually so about in exactly one week it's going to be on in okinawa and you'll be sitting oh what oh, right Sorry about that. <laughs> it's gonna be clever to you, Akuni. 
Lula Tree, based just like these guys are from. And uh, Nathan, you'll be behind the wheels pretty soon. <laughs>